Hello everyone, and here we have a new story. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to subscribe, like, and be sure to write comments in order to participate in the development of the community. Write how to improve my community, current topics and the stories you are interested in, and much more. I read and listen to all the comments. People write me stories by mail from different countries. There are problems with translation. I apologize for this. I will work on it and try to fix these errors. I want to thank everyone for their support and the people who wrote to me by mail. Broadcast news stories. New videos on my channel are published once every two days at 7 p.m. Don't forget to put a bell in order not to miss new videos. And now let's go. Hello, I want to tell you my story. I am 40 years old. My wife is 36 years old. We met seven years ago. When we met, each of us looked at this relationship in our own way. I needed an easy relationship. That is, meetings, sex, walks, and so on. The maximum that I planned was to live together, but I didn't want to get married and have children. Before that, I already had my first marriage. It didn't end well, and I had a daughter from my first marriage. That's why I was just afraid to go through something like that again. I was also a very lazy person. I had poor health and I could not go to the feet of creating a family. Most likely, I've been used to the bachelor life for many years. Of course, my wife didn't like it very much. She, like most girls, wanted a wedding and children. I won't tell you about the development of our relationship. This will drag on for a very long time. But I will say this. When I woke up, I was already married and had a little son. So this is my destiny, I thought. Gritting my teeth, I began to build a family. But I loved my wife very much. Our family life gradually turned into a routine. I was not satisfied with everything. I was constantly dissatisfied. During the quarrels, I told my wife about the claim. Why did she marry me and give birth to my son? But I kept pulling my strap and gradually got used to everything. I've always had bad luck with work. Therefore, I often did not work and earned little. But my wife didn't complain about life. I've never heard her complain. We have been living in such an atmosphere for five years. I began to notice that we began to have sex very rarely. I decided to talk about this topic with my wife. My wife said something incomprehensible to me in response and she does not like to talk about such topics. Eventually, she told me about her first marriage. According to her, her ex-husband was a fool. He drank a lot of alcohol, beat my wife, bullied her. That's why my wife cheated on him. When she told me all this, I really didn't like what I heard. Ever since I was a horned deer in my first marriage, but I thought a fool like my wife's ex-husband deserved to be unfaithful. But I was a normal guy, so my wife won't cheat on me. But when we started having sex very rarely, I had questionable thoughts. Maybe I'm a horned deer after all. At least my wife didn't give me any reason to think so. She always came home from work on time. If she went anywhere, it was only with the child. The house is always clean and dinner is ready. I decided to talk to my wife about why she cheated on her ex-husband. She told me she was young and stupid. Who doesn't do stupid things in their youth? And anyway, you should not care, my wife added. But I couldn't get it out of my head. It bothered me. Every time we quarreled, I started reminding my wife what she had done to her ex-husband. But I also decorated my words with appropriate name, calling. As a result, we often quarreled. I constantly reproached my wife for turning my life into shit. I never forgot to remind my wife what she did to her ex-husband. I had a bad habit of constantly kicking my wife out. But my wife didn't go anywhere. My wife wasn't an angel either. She could say a lot of unnecessary things because she had an explosive temper. But she never went too far. I must give her credit. She put up with me for a long time. Thoughts of my wife's ex-husband did not leave me. I need to clarify that my wife's ex-husband is a foreigner. So when they broke off the relationship, he stayed in another country. I've always wanted to read my wife's email. But I didn't know the email password. One day, my wife didn't log out of her account and I managed to view her email. To say that I was shocked, <laughs> nothing to say. My wife corresponded with the guy for a long time. My wife often suggested that he meet and have sex. But she also told this guy that it would be difficult to arrange meetings because of me. I also saw there a declaration of love and erotic photos taken on Valentine's Day. 
The most interesting thing is that she began to communicate with him at the moment when quarrels began in our relationship. Before that, the correspondence was like a friendly one. In this correspondence, she mentioned me a couple of times. In general, I sat up all night and read this correspondence. In the morning, I woke up my wife and demanded an explanation. My wife replied that all this meant nothing to her. All this she wanted to get from me. But I didn't cause her these emotions. What else is remarkable? During our conversation, my wife was absolutely calm. In other situations, my wife would always start screaming and crying loudly. I asked my wife if this is the lover with whom you cheated on your ex-husband. She said no. It was a former male work colleague from another country where she lived with her first husband. My wife said she didn't have sex with him. Judging by the correspondence, I could not say with certainty that they had sex, but the fact that he was in our city and arrived a month ago was understandable. It was then that the declarations of love and erotic photos began. I couldn't understand that they had love over the internet. I did not understand my wife's initiative to take out a loan and make further plans with me. In general, I didn't understand anything and kicked my wife out again. When I used to kick my wife out of the house, I didn't want her to leave. Yes, to be honest, I've kicked her out before for no reason. This time it was a completely different situation. When my wife left, I remembered about our money savings. But as it turned out, she took only half of our savings. At that moment, for some reason, I wanted to forgive my wife, but I understood that my wife might have had sex with this guy. My wife has been planning to cheat on me for a long time because girls don't prepare for infidelity in one day. The girls are preparing a plan for infidelity for three, six months. I struggled with my thoughts not to forgive my wife in any way. I decided to take revenge on her for this act. I just felt that if I forgave my wife, she would come back. Then I will continue to live like a deer with huge horns. My wife will treat me like an ex-husband. This is a confirmation that if a girl has been unfaithful in a relationship at least once, then she will cheat on you in a new relationship again. My wife was very surprised that I wasn't going to return it because the initiative has always come from me. A month later, my wife started begging me for forgiveness and wanted to return everything. But I was relentless. I said she cheated on me, at least virtually when she threw off erotic photos to him. This is the first step to physical betrayal. I can't live with it and forgive her for this act. I never want to try on deer antlers again in my life. I filed for divorce. My wife was shocked. She immediately doused me with shit. She said I was a bad husband and didn't satisfy her in sex. That I'll never find a new girlfriend. A new girlfriend. Because nobody needs me. That I would crawl to her on my knees. Two days later, my wife called me nonstop. I ignored her. Then she texted me that she had sex with this guy. She repeated once again that I'm a complete zero in sex. After that, I told her not to call or write to me anymore. In general, so that she did not catch my eye before the trial. I wished her all the best. A month later, we successfully divorced. I'm living with a new girlfriend. I met her at work. I told her I wasn't going to the county office. We need to check our relationship. And what do you think? Write your opinion. Who is to blame for the breakup of our relationship? If you like the story, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel in order not to miss new videos. Now let's move on to the opinion of the author of the channel. The opinion of the author of the channel. First of all, I want to wish strength to our hero, but I'll be honest if you don't change your behavior pattern with girls, then all your relationships will end very badly. Reading this story, it seemed to me that you look like a teddy bear who constantly reproached his wife and complained about his life. This is the worst quality in a man. Girls really don't like it. Take my word for it. A man should make decisions and be responsible for them. A man should have a purpose in life. Then the girls will always be with you. You're right. Your wife just tolerated your whims. But the fact of your wife's infidelity is obvious. This in no way excuses your wife. But I think your behavior pushed her to it. And what do you say? Friends, perhaps you have a different opinion. Write your comment. I'm really very interested. If you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all.
Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share this story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shaping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.